uh, with uh, kind of the superhero trend still going, uh, there's not always a lot of superheroes that are also kind of portrayed in different, you know, nationalities and, and stuff around the world. Um, there's, I, th I think there's a few, right? Like with like a British Spider-Man or like right. a Canadian Superman or something right. like that, yeah, <laughs> right? Man. But uh, today we actually got to uh, send uh, Jermaine out, our digital producer, to speak with uh, Quincy Victoria. Uh, they're booth at uh, Desert Wind Celestial Comics uh, within the convention center has a awesome uh, nod to a uh, Filipino hero, uh, which is awesome. So uh, Jermaine packaged that up, spoke to him a little more about that hero and how uh, they represent uh, in the convention center. So here's a look at that. Behind Quincy Victoria's artwork is a message of unity, representation, and a love for his culture. It actually started when I was really young, uh, three or four years old, because my dad was an artist. Prior to this, I was, I was, I've never gotten to San Diego for Comic Con. And I told myself, one of my bucket list items was that I would show up to San Diego, not as a, as a fan, but as a, as a comic book artist. And, I, and three years ago, I was able to get fulfill that dream. Looking for inspiration to create his own character, Quincy looked to his roots. Growing up, I was like, all right, if I'm going to become a comic book artist, what am I going to do? What am I passionate about? Right? One of the people, one of the things that I'm passionate about is being Filipino. So I figured, hey, let me let me, let me write a story that um, that appeals to our people, not just in the Philippines, but also here in the U.S. or Canada or wherever they may be. Because look, you know, let's face it, Filipinos are all over the place. So uh, Koal is Ricky Valiente, who is uh, a Filipino American who gets sent back to the Philippines, um, and he he basically lives in squalor because the book is actually set a little bit in the future and in the Philippines, the government has set it so that there's, you're either stinking rich or you're filthy poor, right? So, and unfortunately, he's one of the poor guys. So imagine, so imagine Captain America, Deadpool, and uh, Robin Hood trying to save the people of the Philippines. Quincy sees Kowal as a comic book creation that can help bridge the gap between Filipinos all over the world. I want to be known as a guy that, that Try to unify people, and it's it's kind of weird that I say that. And I, I, I always talk about how prideful Filipinos are, right? But the mentality between Filipinos in the Philippines and Filipinos in America it's a little different, and it's not always they they're not they're, they don't always get along. But we all know that we're all Filipino. But there's not that one unifying factor that says, okay, hey, we're just we're just one people. We're just all Filipino, and I want to be known as the guy that that tried to kind of get rid of that 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 divide. That's the big meaning for me. For 10news.com, I'm digital producer Tremaine Off. I love that time lapse at the end. Did yeah. you see that? That is so He's awesome. so talented. He that really was is. amazing. Yeah. And you know what I, I really, really like about this story, too, and us doing this diversity is that we'll admit we get caught up in the big superheroes, the Avengers, DC Comics, and we forget that. Cause uh, Comic Con is such a good place for local artists too to like shine and show their work, right. and then Filipino, Canadian, African American, like you know what I mean. This is such a great platform for for them as well. So. Yeah, yeah, it's great, great job. to see like so, how it's his heart, you know, being mm -hmm. poured into this character and what it means to him, and hopefully, you know, this is what it means to other people who pick up the book oh. now and see that too. So Inspiring, yeah. if you are going to Comic-Con this year, uh, you can check out Quincy's booth. It's number 4201. And uh, if you're at the convention on Sunday, you can actually meet Quincy at the booth from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Uh, check out his story, uh, inclu his stories, including uh, Kowal over at the Desert Wind Celestial Comics booth uh, this weekend. So uh, an awesome, awesome comic to, to check out. Let's take a look outside.